Hello, and welcome to your art class. It's me, Mr. Mingoni, your art teacher. Now, a lot of you have been doing this with me for a while now, but some of you might be new to this video art class thing. So, we'll kind of go over how this whole thing goes, and then we'll make some art together. It's going to be really fun. Uh, so, first thing I want you to know, you do not have to have super fancy art supplies to do these lessons, okay? I make them so that you can do them with anything that you have at home. Even if you just find some paper and just a pencil or a pen or anything that you got is perfectly okay. The only things you do need is some paper and something to draw with, okay? So for paper, if you have like an old notebook or even the backs of some old worksheets that you don't need anymore, Anything that you have, you can use to make this. Don't need fancy art supplies. If you have some nice art supplies, like crayons or markers or paints, go ahead and use them. Yeah, this would be the time to get those things out and fire them up, okay? So, um, also, I am gonna have you send me a picture of this one because it's the end of the trimester, which means that you know your teachers are gonna be doing a grade. It means we're gonna be looking at your artwork and different things to make sure that you've done what we've asked. I don't usually collect your artworks like this. I just do it once every trimester, okay? So at the end of the video, I am gonna give you some instructions on how to send me your artwork. It's not a big deal. It's not something to worry about. It's just like you're gonna take a picture of it and email it to me and that's gonna be good, okay? So nothing to worry about, just a little kind of check-in that we do once in a while. So, um, let's get started making some art. It, you can see on my background I have some space things going on on the sides, okay? That's because we're going to make some space-themed art. All right, what you're going to do, this is really exciting. I'm excited just to tell you. You get to design your own spaceship, your ultimate spaceship. It's going to be really cool. So I'm going to show you some different tricks you can use, but ultimately you're going to be really creative and do this your own way, all right? It's not going to have to look just like mine. It's going to be your special spaceship so get those pencils and pens or whatever you got ready I'm gonna aim my camera down at my paper here and what I like to do is flip it upside down so that it looks right to you there we go now that should be about right so what I have today I have some regular old markers and some crayons okay I've got this big box of crayons that I found in my basement. You definitely don't need this many crayons. It's kind of cool, but also, how many different oranges do you need, right? It's a little silly, but it's fun. I'm gonna use it, because that's what I got. So, I'm gonna probably start with a marker so that you can see it really well, okay? And I'm gonna design a spaceship. Now, the fun thing about this project is, this is an imagination, an imagine, sorry an imaginatory that's a big word imaginatory spaceship that means that it just comes from your imagination this doesn't have to look like a real spaceship it can if you want to but this spaceship is like your your fantasy okay you can do it any way you want so there's a million different ways that you can make it look i like to start with a basic shape for my spaceship and i'm going to do a triangle you can start with a triangle if you want, or you can do a totally different shape. I would say, do it your own way, make up your own shape. Now my spaceship, I'm gonna think like, I'm, you know, if you go out in space, you're gonna be there for a while. So I'm gonna design this like it's gonna be my home. So it's gonna have all the things that I really like and want on this spaceship, okay? So this is kind of the main part. Maybe I'll add some jet engines. And your jets, or however your spaceship, you know, propels itself, can be any shape you want. I'm just gonna use another triangle, and maybe I'll have, like, some fire coming out of there. Yeah. See, that's the jet engine. Just actually, you wouldn't really see fire in space, but that's okay, because this doesn't have to be a totally realistic type picture. It's just a fun one. Okay. So that's the jet engine. And I'll even put some extra little lines on there. But really, I'm just gonna start with basic big shapes and add all the details later, okay? Um, maybe I'll add like a bubble part on the front. That's kind of fun. And I like to use triangles for my spaceship, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I'll add a big triangle like this. 
It's just kind of putting some shapes together to see what would make a neat spaceship. Maybe I'll do another triangle down here. Yeah, mine is definitely triangle themed. Maybe yours is rectangle themed or, or lots of circles. I don't know. It's completely up to you. Um, and then I'll put like a wing here. It's also going to be, guess what? A triangle. Yeah, so mine has lots of triangles. Nothing wrong with that. So that's the basic shapes of my spaceship, but now I get to add all the details. So I'm gonna think, what do I want on my spaceship? And this is where I'm gonna start getting really imaginative and creative and just kind of being a little bit silly with it too. Okay, so first of all, this is maybe my main living space because it's, op it's as, I'm gonna say this is like a glass bubble so I can see out everywhere. And what do I want in there? Well, maybe there's some stairs that go up and up here, this is gonna be my bedroom. So I'm gonna add myself a little bed. Nice comfy bed. And I've got a TV in my bedroom too. That's nice. Um, so there's my little TV in my bedroom. And you know what? I'll give myself a little Nintendo Switch because I love playing my Nintendo. Cool. And down here, this is where I'm gonna make art. So I'm gonna put a little easel and a little stand with my paint palette and my paintbrushes. Because wouldn't that be cool to be in this little bubble and look out at space and draw things? So for your spaceship, I want you to think of what you want. I don't want you to just copy the things that I have, but think, what do I like to do? What do I want in my spaceship? Okay, you're being creative and thinking of your own cool ideas. If you want to take a few ideas from me, that's quite all right. As long as you kind of find a way to do it your own way, in your own style, okay? I'm gonna say when I'm driving the spaceship, I'll put a little spot down here. This is what we call the cockpit, okay? That's like where you, you drive. So I'm gonna add like some different things with buttons on them and here's my chair. And that's where I'll be driving the spaceship. And I'll put some little things coming out here. I don't really know what they are. Maybe they're like different sensors and satellites to like, you know, see what's out in space. I'll put like some little arms to, that can come out to, to touch things and grab things. That's fun. It's fun to add little details like that around your spaceship. Other ideas for details is little tubes. Like you draw a thing like that and you draw little lines on it. You can throw those just about anywhere and it ends up looking cool. Little tubes, just kind of like nice little details. I don't know, maybe fuel goes through there. Maybe air and oxygen for you to breathe goes through there. Maybe it's chocolate pudding, I don't know. Who cares? You don't have to know what it's for. It's just as long as it looks cool. And you can put lots of little lines like this. And maybe I like to do little dots to look like bolts, like it's metal and there's little screws in there, right? That's a cool idea. What else do I want in my spaceship? Hmm. Oh, you know what would be really fun? If I had a trampoline. I don't know quite how that would work because in space there's zero gravity. So I would jump on this trampoline. Well, let's draw a little spaceman who's doing it. So he's got his spacesuit on. Whee! And he's going boing. And he's just going, go like in space, you would just keep going and going and going. But luckily, let's see. I have this, my spaceship has a, a robot system that looks out for me so it's got this little arm that's going to catch me it, just to make it funny you know what i'm going to give it i'm going to give it like a uh, catcher's mitt like in baseball isn't that funny so i'm like a little baseball and it's just going to catch me so you can have fun and be a little silly with it see that awesome what else do i want on my spaceship what would be fun and it, you know, when I have these times where I don't really know what to add, that's when I start just doing these details. Like look at these details. I can do these little kind of zigzaggy lines that follow each other like this. And maybe one goes this way. And those look like circuits. A circuit is like, if you look inside a computer or inside electronic toys, they have these little things called circuit boards with little wires and things that go around like this. I don't, it's just kind of a design that I have for my spaceship to make it look high tech, to make it look like it's really complicated and it's like a big computer, right? Maybe I'll add some stripes on the wing. 
Everyone knows racing stripes make you go faster. Not really, that's just a joke. But they do look cool. And you know what, I'll add some of those same. Oh, you know what, I was gonna do stripes up here, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my little like sign on here, like my logo, so everyone knows it's my ship. So you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be my face smiling. And here's my fluffy beard. I'll give myself a nice little kind of spaceman look there. All right, so everyone knows this is Mr. Mangoni's ship. Cool. Now everyone knows when they see that ship. Here comes the super happy fun time party ship. That's Mr. Mangoni on there. And since I just decided it's a happy fun time party ship, it's got to have a nice speaker system, right? So here's like the speakers and it's going to play music out into space. Now there's another thing. Sound doesn't really travel in space like it does here. So in real life, this wouldn't really work to have speakers out in space. But that's okay. This is just for fun. This is just for pretend. I'm not trying to make a super realistic thing here. Just being silly and having fun. I wonder what you're going to add to your spaceship that I don't have. Think about, you know, what are you going to add that is your own idea that I don't have? What's going to make your spaceship special? I wonder. Hmm. I think I would like to make friends with different aliens. Once again, I don't really think aliens are real, but this is just for pretend, so we can pretend. Um, so let's see what we can do. Here's what I'm gonna do. My ship is gonna have a little area here that comes out from the bottom wing. It's like it opens up, okay? And what we have over here, the aliens can land their little spaceships on here. And then they, there's like tables, and this is like a hangout place. I'll put a little arcade game for them to play, so they can be like, ooh, this is what video games are like on Earth. They have a little arcade game, and then maybe I'll have a little pizza stand, so they can be like, oh yeah, I can see what Earth food is like. I can try some pizza. I'm so tired of eating alien space food. I want some real pizza. So this is a little fun hangout for the aliens. Maybe I'll draw an alien here. He has two heads. And he's a big guy. So he's got a plate with lots of pizza. He's gonna have like four slices of pizza. Cause he's got two heads, you know? Each head is gonna wanna have at least two slices, so. He's gonna need lots of pizza. See how I'm just kind of having fun with it, right? So use your imagination and come up with little stories like that for your spaceship. This is all about just kind of getting lost in your imagination and having fun. I don't know what else to add, so I'm gonna keep doing some cool designs on my ship. Just make some lines and, and cool things to decorate it. Any part that looks open or blank, it doesn't matter, really. You don't have to think too much about what these things are. Just try to make some things that look cool and fill up the space like that, right? You can add little antennas. You can add lots of them, ones that go up and have a dot on top. You could have one that goes up and has little lines. They just look like technology. You don't have to really know what it is. Just looks high tech and looks cool. That's fun. See? I don't know what that thing is, but it makes my spaceship look pretty neat and very detailed, right? What else can I add here? I've got some space here in my bubble zone. Oh, I should have a tree in there because did you know that trees create oxygen? Oxygen is what we breathe. You know, when you go, you're breathing in oxygen and it makes you feel good. Well, guess what? There's no oxygen in space, but trees create oxygen. So if I could somehow grow trees and plants and flowers inside my ship, 
it could create oxygen for me. I don't know if that's really possible, but it's for pretend, okay? Because I don't know if you could grow plants in space. Maybe you could. I, I just don't really know myself. So there's that. And you know what? I'm going to have a little bench. This is like you're sitting out at the park because I would miss the outdoors. I would miss being able to sit out at the park. And you know what? We'll even have out here a special light that it's like the sun. In case we are somewhere where you can't see the sun in space, there's a special light that shines like the sun. And then maybe it goes down at nighttime so that I can sleep. Very nice. Looking pretty cool. I wonder what else I can add to this. And that's one thing we'd like to do is say, instead of saying, well, I'm done, you know, try to say, what else can I add, right? You want to think of, what more can I do to this? Or what, what part of this needs a little more work, right? Like maybe, okay, maybe the spaceship, this alien spaceship could have a chair and some controls, right? Something like that. Maybe I could put some planets in the background. I'm gonna make up some of my own planets. This planet has a ring going both ways. I don't know, I don't think there's really any planets like that. I'm not even sure that's possible, but that's okay. It's just imaginary and it has two moons. And then this is a moon, but there's another moon. And I'll put some stars and you can put different like Maybe I'll put a little spaceship flying by in the background. That's a fun detail to do. See that? Like, there's a lot going on here. There's people coming to visit. So at this point, I think I'm going to start coloring. Because I've got a lot of coloring to do here, don't I? And, I, sorry, I forgot to mention at the beginning. If you haven't, if you're not familiar with these kinds of videos, you can either be drawing right along with me, which I hope you're doing, or if you want to, you can just watch the video and then draw when I'm all done. Okay, that's completely your choice. Um, so, just a little reminder on that. Sorry, I forgot we have some new people that might not have known that part. So I'm gonna start coloring. I'm, that's what I'm gonna use my crayons for. I like to do the, the outlines with the marker and then do the coloring with the crayons. And I also want to remind you, let's just enjoy the space for a little bit while I'm talking. I like can pretend like my spaceship is flying through space. So I, I do want to remind everybody, if you make mistakes in your art, that is perfectly okay, all right? We all make mistakes and it's a totally normal thing. I've made a bunch of mistakes on here, but you probably didn't even notice because I've learned how to just kind of go with it. If I make a mistake, I just keep going and I I'm not too hard on myself about it, right? So it's okay to make mistakes. And if you do make a mistake, maybe just like think, well, what could I do better? What don't I like about that? How could I fix it? Or what could I do better next time? But don't feel like, well, I'm such a bad artist because I made a mistake. That's not true. You're just learning. Making mistakes is part of learning, okay? So don't be afraid of your mistakes. Now it's time for me to start coloring with my crayons. And when I color, I like to go dark to light. And that's something you can always practice. So like, if I press a little harder with my crayon or colored pencil or whatever, it's darker. And then if I just kind of loosen up my grip and go, don't press as hard, it gets lighter. That's kind of a difficult thing to do. But I like to show my kindergartners and first graders that so that they can start practicing because it takes practice. You, you, you probably won't get it right away and that's okay, but it's a good time for you to start practicing something like that and just trying it out, all right? And that gives it kind of a shiny kind of metal look. I think that's really neat. I'm gonna maybe do that on most of my ship and then add some other colors later. I do like how that turned out. Very nice. Maybe I'll color this part too. I hope you're all having fun out there. I know I am. I definitely miss you and I miss teaching at school. 
I wouldn't choose to be stuck at home all day, but that doesn't mean we can't make the most of it, right? That doesn't mean we can't have a little fun with it. Do some things at home you wouldn't normally be able to do if you were at school all day. Maybe make some extra art, right? How are you gonna fill your time? You should think about that and really make some decisions about what do I wanna do with all this time? Maybe you decide, hey, I wanna really work on my art. I wanna make extra art. I wanna make lots of art. And if you do that, you're going to become a much better artist. That's kind of how it works, is the more art that you make, the better you get. So you could just decide, this is my time to like just be such an amazing artist and just really go for it and make art every single day. Maybe that's your challenge, make an art piece each day. Every single day you make a new one. How cool would that be? And by the time you come back to school, if you did that, you're gonna be such an incredible artist. I always, when students do that, I can tell. And then they come in and I see them after I haven't seen them for a while and I go, whoa, you have been practicing. I can tell that you've been making art at home because it shows. So if you wanna be one of those students, just, it's that simple. You just make art every day. Come up with different things to draw and have fun with it, right? I'm thinking I need some purple. Here we go. Art is a great way to fill your time if you're if you're stuck at home. Because not only is it fun, but you also getting better at something. You know, it's it's good to do something with your time that is like, well, I'm improving right now. I'm I'm learning a skill of getting better and better at something all the time. That's good. That's good for you. I wonder what you're all drawing. I can't wait for you to send me these pictures. And, and just a reminder, at the end of the lesson, I'm gonna put up a little slide that will show you how to send me your pictures, okay? So just keep on working. My hope is that some of you will have come up with some new ideas for this that I haven't even thought of because I know all of you, and I mean all of you, are creative people. You have amazing minds that can come up with uh, awesome new things. So I'm excited to see what you come up with, to look at these and go, oh, I didn't think about doing that. That's a cool idea, right? So try to see if you can come up with some things that I didn't do. That would be neat. And having all these crayons is tough because you have to decide what color you're gonna use. Sometimes you have too many options and it can be difficult. Sometimes it's nice to just have a pencil. A lot of times I like to make art just with a pencil and no colors. A lot of artists like that. Maybe you like that too. Maybe you're trying it right now and think, you know what? I actually kind of like just using a pencil or just using a pen. I kind of like just having these lines the way they are. Nothing wrong with that, that's good. And you know what, if you really want some crayons or markers and something and you really just don't have a way to get them, send me an email or talk to the school. We have ways to help you out with that stuff. We can get you some art supplies, some basic stuff, if you really, really need it and you're, you're trying to get some but you can't, okay? We, we can hook you up. Just let us know. We've got stuff for you if you need it. I mean, I've got too many crayons, you know. I need to just give you some of mine. I don't need all these. Okay, having a lot of fun.
fun coloring this. It's looking really cool. We are nearing the end of the lesson. We've got about six minutes left, so I'm gonna do some finishing touches here. If I don't get every single part of this colored right now, that's just fine. You just do your best. You know, maybe you, if you don't finish it, you can keep working. After the video's over, you can keep working on it if you want to. Or you could finish it another time. You can come back to it. It's totally up to you. I am going to have you send me this one, though. It doesn't have to be completely finished for you to send it to me. As long as you kind of worked, you know, at least like a half an hour, like our whole art time on it, even if it's not finished, that's okay. You're not going to lose any points or anything like that. And I'm not like, I'm not going to be super mean about looking at your art. I, I just appreciate it. I love to see your art. And I just want to see that you did it. That's really mostly it. So if you do it and you send it, you're going to be just fine. That's all it really takes right now. I'm not going to be super hard on you. We know that this is kind of a crazy time for everyone. And I just want to make sure you're here and you're doing the thing. Okay? There we go. Oh, I didn't do my fire. Let me show you how I like to do fire. There's three colors I like to use. I like to use some red. And then I use some orange. And you can be kind of scribbly with your fire if you want. And some yellow. Red, orange, and then yellow. And that gives it a nice fire look sometimes I even add a little blue just in the bottom underneath the red that's fun too there's my fire this one's gonna have like a laser coming out of the back like a I don't even know what it is but that's how he's not using fire he's using like some kind of beam to travel just using my imagination here cool 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 I think the only thing I'm really missing is got to color the inside here. A tree, nice beautiful green tree and some bushes and some flowers. And my painting and my bed. That bed reminds me of Minecraft. Looks like a Minecraft bed. I'll give myself some orange walls and some yellow walls. Keep it nice and bright in the art room. And then the walls in my bedroom will just kind of be a nice deep blue to help me relax. There we go. The one thing I wish I had a little more time to do is color the background, right? Because I could make a nice space background. But I don't really have too much time for that right now. But that's okay. Um, let me just give you a little sample of how I would do a space background, like a galaxy thing. I would take some colors like some purple and do a little, you know, not coloring everything in with it, just kind of like that. And then I would maybe add some blue kind of alongside the purple. You can overlap it a little bit. Add a little blue in there. And then we're just building up these galaxy colors. Like maybe there's some little spots where there's some red you could mix in. You can mix the colors a little bit. But not all the way, right? You don't want them all mixed up. There's some of that. And then I could even use like some black. Right? We don't want to just have the, the space could be all black, but it's a little more fun to like have some black and then some like galaxy colors like this. You see that? I can overlap them a little bit, but not all the way with the black. That's kind of how I would color the background. Wow, this crayon is scented. It has a smell, and it's really strange smell. This crayon, I'm not making it up, smells like a leather jacket. What? It smells just like a leather jacket. I don't know if you've ever had that smell. It's a great smell. That is strange. That is a weird crayon. So that's how I would kind of do the galaxy background on that, okay? So I had fun with this. I hope you had fun with it too, all right? I'm going to really quickly get my slide up here that's going to show you how to send me your artworks. Um, but yeah, you can just enjoy looking at this for the moment. And 
Sorry, I'm a little behind on my slides here. Oh, I see. I was logged into the wrong thing. Go figure. So when you turn in your artwork, I'm going to have an email that you can send it to. And I'm going to get that up for you. I was logged into the wrong account, so I couldn't pull up my slide. Thank you for your patience, everybody. You can just keep coloring for a minute. Okay, and you're gonna want some help from uh, somebody, an adult at your house for this, okay? So, let me put my camera back up here so you can see me. Whoa, I'm upside down. Ah, I spent too much time in space, I think. I gotta fix it. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So, this is how you can send me your artwork. All right. And, and, okay. So, this email right here, you're gonna take a picture of your artwork and send it to that email. rymingoni at isd535.org. Okay. And then, the subject of the email, you're gonna put your name, your teacher's name, and then the words art assignment, just like this. So you can get an adult to help you do that. And this is so that I can search in my email and find them easily. So for instance, if my name was Bob Sanders and my teacher's name was Mrs. Feast, I would type Bob Sanders, comma, Feast, comma, art assignment, okay? That is how you can submit your artwork to me. And once again, I don't collect every one of these. I collect one every trimester, okay? So this is just kind of a special time when I'm actually collecting them. Most of these you don't need to turn in, so it's not a lot of pressure. I'm just kind of trying to, you know, check in with everybody and see what you're doing. So not a big deal. It doesn't even have to be totally finished. If you just spent your half an hour art time on it, you can spend more time if you want but I, I don't need you to spend hours on this or worry. It's not something to worry about mostly. Don't want you to worry about it. It's just a chill thing, okay? So if you're worrying about it, relax, it's okay. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna give you a bad grade as long as you turn it in and I see that you're doing something, okay? I'm just mostly excited to see what you made. Well, I love you all very much, okay? That's why us teachers do this because we love our students and you're all creative and you're all awesome. Yes, I'm talking to you. You are amazing and creative and you have beautiful ideas and you should get that out through your art because the world needs to see your beautiful ideas, okay? So keep making stuff. Even when you're not in art class, keep making stuff. You can send me as many pictures as you want. I love seeing my students' artwork, okay? All right, well, take care, everybody. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'm here for all of you, parents, teachers, everybody. We're here to serve you, all right? So I hope everything's okay. Bye-bye. This was really fun. I'll see you next week.